Hi, and welcome to this Fournaf coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist, of, product specialist at Fournaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to print Business Central reports directly. There are three ways of direct printing with Fournaf. Direct print via the Fournaf print service on a print server, direct print on your own computer, and direct print to a network printer connected to an on-premise Business Central server. In our previous coffee break, we have discussed installing and configuring the Fournaf direct print service on a print server. Today, we will discuss setting up the setting up of direct printers in Business Central. This setup is the same for all three types of direct printing. The scenario we will set up today is that I need to print my invoices on a printer connected to my print server, but I need to print labels on a printer that is connected to my local PC. To demonstrate printing Business Central reports directly, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will set up the four nav direct printers. In step three, I will set up the printer selection. In step four, I will print my reports. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be printing reports in the Business Central Cloud Tenant with the Business Central 2021 Wave 2 release. I have installed the, the Fornaf customizable report pack and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. I've installed the direct print client on my PC and I've set up the direct print service on my print server. The direct print client and service can be downloaded from the Fornav website. Of course, everything I do today is also available in the Business Central on-premise environment. The first thing we need to do is set up the Fornav direct printers. This is where we make the distinction between Fornav client or local printers and the Fornav print service printers. We can also add specific settings per printer like printing color, paper size, paper source, etc. Setting up a network printer connected to an on-premise Business Central server is similar to setting up a local printer. Since we are working on Business Central Cloud, we will skip this today. So let's switch over to Business Central. So all the settings we can do are available from the direct print setup. So let's find the Fornav direct print setup. Now all of this is set up. Uh, the the direct, print, direct print server is connected and the printers are connected. So all I need to do is set up my direct printers. To do that, I will open my direct printers and I can simply add my printers in here. The first printer I'm going to add is my local label printer, which I'm going to call local label. And the printer name needs to be the exact uh, printer name that is uh, the printer on my on my local PC. And to get that, I can, I have my print queue open. I'm going to use my PullZip PDF printer for my labels. Uh, I can grab my properties and simply copy the name of my PullZip PDF printer. And that, that way I know I have the exact name of my printer right here. So I'll paste it in there. The description will be local label as well. Then the second printer I need to add is my uh, is the printer that's connected to my print server. So I will call that the office printer. And the office printer is connected to my print server. That means I can do a lookup and simply select it out of my uh, out of the list of the printers connected to my print service. It's going to be the, uh, the office jet, hit OK and add a description here, which will be office printer. This is pretty much all I need to do to set up my printers. Uh, of course, in here you can do more, more uh, you can specify more settings. So you can specify a specific paper kind, width, height, color, yes or no, uh, landscape, duplex, uh, you can select the uh, paper source, so you can select which bin you want to print from. All of that is possible as well. For now, I'm going to leave all of this as default uh, because I'm just printing the demo printers and how it ends up uh, or where it ends up is not that big of a deal. The 
The second step to set up the direct printers is to add the printer selections. This is where we specif specify which user prints which report on which printer. In our scenario, we want to print the posted invoices on the office printer and the labels on our local label printer. So let's go to the direct printers and from here I can open my printer selections. Printer selections is just a standard business central field where we can specify the report ID. So I can find my invoice, I'll scroll down a bit, find the standard 4NAV invoice. And I'm going to print that to my office printer, which is the printer I've just specified in my uh, Fornav direct printers. You can specify this even further with a user ID, so you can uh, say which uh, which user can print to which will print to which printer. Uh, for now, there's only one uh, one real user in this sandbox, which is me, so I'll leave that one blank. The second report will be the item label which is also a standard for nav report. And I want to print the item label with my local label printer. So I've set that. And if I now open my list of for nav standard reports, there is a setting in the for nav standard reports or a field which will say to which printer uh, which report will be printed. So now I have my invoice, which is going to be printed to the office printer. And if I scroll down, I have my item label, and that is going to be printed on my local label printer. Finally, we can print our reports in Business Central. Printing is slightly different for, for service and client reports, so let's, uh, let's go and have a look. First thing I'm going to do is print a printer, print an invoice to my uh, to my service printer, to my print service printer. So I'm going to open my posted sales invoices and grab an invoice. Now I'm going to print this to my office printer, and this office printer just happens to be connected to my local machine as well. Uh, because my local machine doubles as my uh, print server for this demo. Um, I'm going to print to the Office Jet printer. I've paused the print queue because I can't, um, well, I can't, I, I could put a camera on my printer and see, uh, show you what comes out, uh, but this is the easiest way to demonstrate uh, what gets printed where. So the prints will be paused. So when I, whenever I print to my uh, print server Office Jet, uh, this is where the print should come out. So in, BC if I hit send and use the default settings for print and I don't want a PDF and hit OK. Report will be printed. It will be sent to the print queue and the print queue will send it to my printer uh, which may take a while it runs asynchronously. So there we have the print the 4NAV VAT sales invoice is now sent to my local printer. To administer the printing of the 4NAV direct printers, at least the 4NAV service printers, uh, you can open the 4NAV direct print setup. And on the 4NAV direct print setup, we have the print queue. And in a print queue, we can monitor what is going to be printed where uh, by which user. So you'll notice we have the 4NAV VAT sales invoice. Status is finished and it, uh, it was sent to me but to, the, uh, to the office printer. From here, I can restart my print job. If I hit restart, it gets the status ready. And we should see a second print appear on our office jet, uh, which is right here. So that's the second print going. Refresh the page and you will notice that the status is finished once again. And I can download the PDF that was sent to the printer, which is just my, uh, my 4 nav invoice. And if everything is done, I can delete the print from the queue. Um, manual deletion is great for testing and debugging, uh, but on production systems, we recommend that you enable the delete, uh, delete finished jobs from, uh, from the 4NAV direct print setup. Uh, that will automatically delete all, the, all of the finished jobs from the print queue. So that's, setting up, that's printing to our uh, print service printer. To print to our local uh, label printer, 
the process works slightly differently. I mean, the, the result is the same. I still uh, still end up with uh, with a print uh, with with a print in my printer. Let's open the 4NAV label printer. You will notice that the printer is now set to the local label printer. And if I print this, 4NAV will download a label uh, label dot 4NAV print file. And this 4NAV print file will be will be printed with the 4NAV print client, which is running on my computer. So if I open this file, which of course in a production system you would set to open automatically, since this is a demo system, I never never open files automatically. You will notice it will print to my Bullzip PDF printer. And if I hit save, yes, I've done this before. You will notice that my label is now printed to. Uh, a rather big sheet of paper and that's because my my bullshit printer has been set up for uh, for letter paper size for testing so that's the that's the local print and a big advantage of local print over uh, over the four and a half print service and the reason why we support and use it is that for instance uh, in the case of label printers you may have uh, a long row of workstations in your warehouse uh, every workstation will have its own label printer and you don't want to mess all of that up by uh, doing a really complicated print server setup. You just want to print to the, to the label printer that is connected to your uh, to the workstation that you are working on. So that's uh, that's one scenario where the 4NAV direct print is really, uh, really incredibly useful. So let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was to set up the 4NAV direct printers. In the direct print service settings, uh, we were able to, se to, set, to set specific printer settings like paper source. Once we added the, for added the direct printers, we could set up the printer selections. In the printer selections, we could, co we could configure which report was printed on which printer for which user. Finally, we have printed our reports. We noticed that the reports print we printed with the 4NAV direct print service were handled by the printer queue, while reports that were sent to the local printer were printed directly by the local PC. Thank you for listening to me so far. I'll just see if we have any questions. Uh, we have a question. Do I have to set up uh, local printers for every user? Uh, no, uh, you need to set up a local printer for uh, a specific local printer. Now, if every local user has a different printer name, then yes, you need to specify a, uh, a different printer for every local user. Um, but in the scenario of the label printers in the warehouse I've just specified, it is enough to have a printer that is set to uh, a printer that's called label. And as long as, long as all of the printers have the same printer name, uh, then you can use that. Apart from that, if I go back to Business Central, I can open my direct printers. In the direct printers, we also have a default printer. And if you specify the default printer, uh, the, the local print will print to the default printer that is connected to the computer. So just set your reports to default and that will print to the, to the default printer on your computer. I hope that answers your question. I don't see any other questions, so let's wrap up this coffee break. If you want to know more about Fornav, or if you want to download the 4NAV Designer and Converter, please visit our website. If you want to install 4NAV in Business Central Cloud, please visit the Microsoft App Source. If you want to install 4NAV in Business Central Cloud, please, I'm sorry, I just said that. Um, you can watch more videos about 4NAV on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about 4NAV, please email them to support at 4NAV.com. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit forenaf.com slash coffee break. Uh, with that, we don't have any, any further questions, so thank you very much for listening and goodbye for today. <laughs>